Hey folks, Joe with JSC Baseball Collector here, coming back at you with another video. And it is that time of the month again. It is Rookie Card Explosion Box by Filmington Time. It's actually a bit late in the month. These usually ship and arrive mid-month. Um, I'm just now getting a chance to get into this one. Um, I did pop the box open already, um, just to get the packing peanuts out and, and whatnot, just to not make such a mess. And I did notice that he there's this kind of like bonus pack in here. It's one of these... 84 baseball oversized box toppers. I'm not even sure what year this is from. Uh, let me see if I can see it on the back anywhere. I don't. Uh, 2019? Yeah, 2019. So let's see what this is. Um, it's going to be a Noah Syndergaard, so nothing too crazy or special, but pretty cool. Pretty cool that that was thrown in there as a little bonus pack. So I'm just going to get that off to the side. But just wanted to, to get that one out of the way before we get into the packs. So let's take a look at the lineup real quick before we get into uh, before we get into it. So we're gonna have 2017 Bowman, very nice. Ronda Cunha is in there. His first, I think I believe that's his first Bowman. Eloy Sandy Alcantara, uh, Judge is a rookie card. Would love to pull that, even though I have some. Um, of those already in the collection. 2019 update, a jumbo pack. That's also Riley, Vladdy, Tatis debut. Arias, who's been on fire. I think he's still floating around 400. Um, at least at the time of this filming, he's probably at least at, you know, at the very worst, he's probably at 390 if it goes into a slump. Uh, Will Smith and then Brian Reynolds. Uh, 2022 Bowman first edition. LED La Cruz, that is the guy right now. That guy is so hot, hot in the game and hot in the hobby. Jackson Churio, James Wood, Curtis Mead, Khalil Watson, Colson Montgomery, Jonathan Clace, Max Muncy, and uh, Quero. I forget what the E stands for. Quero. Uh, 2023 Bowman Sapphire. Not sure if I've opened any of that yet. Maybe if, maybe only if Filmington's had that in one of these thus far, but I don't think he has. So you got the double, double Jones action. Drew Jones, Spencer Jones, Jor um, Jorge, not Jorge de the Paula. Jonathan? Can't remember his name, but I did pull him out of a mojo pack, and I wasn't sure if he was good, but he is a good one. I probably have it here on the table somewhere in a top loader. Um, Caminario, Cam Collier, Montez, Matt, Mac, Matt, Mervis, Justin Crawford, Gonzalez, and Lee. And then you have a silver pack from Series 1. So those come out of the hobby boxes and jumbo boxes. Uh, so that's going to be Adley, Riley Green, Francisco Alvarez, Nolan Gorman, Gunnar Henderson, Michael Harris III, Christopher Morell, Brett Beatty, and the Italian Stallion, Vinny Pasquantino. Um, no Series 2 in here, but I know that Filmington does have plenty of Series 2, so I'm sure that'll be in next year's, or next next year's, <laughs> next month's box. All right, we're already three months in, so without further ado, let's check out what we have got, and we will start cooking. So it looks like we have some sort of Topps Chrome kind of like bonus pack here, which is pretty cool. There's a rookie on the top, no one crazy. We got the Bowman pack, we got the update pack, we got the Bowman first edition, the Sapphire, and the silver pack. So let's figure out how we want to do this. We'll do this bonus one first. Uh, I want to save that 19 update jumbo because I just think it's sick. Um, we'll go like that. We'll go like this. Yeah, let's do it like this. So let's get into this. Another bonus pack, so not just the box topper thing. Uh, but another bonus pack, which appears to be from, what year was this from? 20, 2012. So that's the 2012 design. Should have recognized that. Was not collecting at the time, but I do know these cards. So this must have been some sort of like orange parallel only bonus pack. And I'm going to get the cheat sheet off to the side here. So we got Brett Pill, Adam Lind, and Zach Cozart. So nothing too crazy going on in that one. But pretty cool bonus to get nonetheless. Let's go with the... Yeah, let's go with the 2017. Let's do the 17. So the theme of this month, I'm not sure if there's a theme. I thought this theme might have been Acuna. Might just be guys who are hot in general. I mean, Acuna, obviously you're chasing here. You got Ellie De La Cruz who you're chasing. Just, you know, guys who are kind of hot to trot in the in the um, hobby right now and in the in the league in general. We got some sort of refractor in here. Let's check it out. So Jameson Tyon, Cole Hamels, late in his career. Jake Lamb, you got Justin Bauer. Ooh, very cool. That is a very, very cool looking Bryce Harper card. 92 heritage, kind of Bowman heritage, throwback design of Bryce Harper. Not sure if that's some sort of short print or if that's just like what those inserts look like, but it's really cool that he's kind of, you know, just kind of sitting there chilling in his in his casual, everyday 
close. Um, but a very, very cool card. I like that one quite a bit. And it's got a nice refractor shine to it. Back to the pack. We got this Cal Quantrill. We got an Adonis Medina first. I think he was supposed to be pretty good and he didn't really pan out. Kevin Newman Chrome. So nothing too much going on there. Uh, World Baseball Classic from 2017 of Tamiyuki Sanango. And then an Eric Jenkins. So nothing else going on really in that pack other than I don't think Sanango ever became much um, coming out of Japan. But nothing really else going on other than that very sharp, very nice looking Bryce Harper. But I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, you know, let's do the silver pack. Let's go to the silver pack and then we'll get into the Bowman first edition. That is obviously potential for some monsters. We'll do the jumbo and then obviously you always got to save Sapphire for last because, I mean, it's Sapphire. Uh, we might have a thick one at the end here. I think we have a green. We think we have a green number to 99. So that's going to be pretty sweet. We got Ricky. Oscar Gonzalez rookie card. Not bad. Wander. Much better center than the one I got a six on when I sent it to SGC. This one's going to be Rangers. I think it's going to be Josh Smith. It is Josh Smith. Josh Smith, rookie card number 299. So not exactly the name we're looking for, but a rookie nonetheless and a parallel. I think I got that exact silver pack in my jumbo box because um, I pulled that Wander. I remember pulling Oscar Gonzalez. <laughs> and who was the first one? Ricky. I probably pulled that one too. So. Uh, but yeah, it's funny. I had I pulled this Wander, and I was like, oh, it's just a sick card. Wander was red hot at the beginning of the season. I was like, let me send this in. Or actually, it was, I think, I think it was before the season. I actually sent that into SGC as part of that nine dollar deal. Um, and I was just like, oh, you know, I think Wander. I think that's what it was. I thought it was poised for a big season, and so I sent it in. And I, I mean, the centering was just horrible. And there must have been something else wrong with it. And it just, I got a, uh, ended up getting a six as <laughs> she sees six on it so it was a big big swing swing and miss which was funny it was more just one because it was only nine dollars to grade it i thought it was a cool card just to have in the in the sgc collection and it was it was a, it was a total dud so that one i would imagine would grade maybe slightly better all right let's check out this first edition pack so we do have one of the uh sky blues which i think of the most common parallels in these maybe one every other pack but michael trania Valenzuela, Zach Zawinski, not a terrible one. He's been playing pretty well for the Pirates. Luis Angel Acuna, not a first. There's Khalil Watson. So that's a good one. We got a little Khalil Watson first edition action. I'm not sure how he's been doing this year, Khalil Watson. I think he might have, if I'm thinking of the right guy, I think he might have gotten into a little bit of trouble or something in the offseason. I may have mentioned that already in a past video. Um, so he, he might be a guy that people are a little bit down on, but... Um, Really good, talented player, nonetheless. Pastrano, Fran, Adui, and then this is going to be a first of Jose Pastrano. Is that the same guys from a couple couple ago? So that's going to be one of the Sky Blues, not numbered, but a parallel, nonetheless, of a first. Let's see. I don't really know much about this guy. He's not on the cheat sheet. Um, signed as a free agent, twenty nineteen, born in o two. So he's just about. He's just going to turn twenty one this year. Not exactly great numbers in the 2021 season. Um, who knows how he did in 2022? Like I said, never heard of him. Um, but we'll see. Could be, could become a player. Put Zach Zawinski off to the side here as well. All right, let's get into this jumbo pack. There could be some real good stuff in here. This was a great product. I love this product. I opened a bunch of this uh, when I first got back into the hobby. It was just it was just very readily available all the time. Um, it looks like we got some sort of relic, probably the manufactured relic. But um, this Yandi Diaz also looks like it's a short print, honestly. O10. O10. It's not a short print, but just doesn't the photography on that just look like it might be like one of the short prints? All right, let's check this out. So Francisco Lindor All-Star Game. This is such a great product, like I said. There's a John Means rookie card. That guy had some promise. I think he threw a no-hitter in maybe his rookie year or second year. Um, had a lot of promise, but he seems to get hurt all the time. There's an Acuna. Not rookie, second year. But a good card. Acuna second year all-star game. I don't know what this is on the back here. It should be. It's going to be interesting. Matthew Beatty, like kind of utility player type. But yeah, this was such a good product. And it was just like I was saying, it was, it was so readily available. Like I was able to pick up so much retail of this, I remember. I first got back into the hobby. It was Keston Hira. 
poor Kesson Hira. Guy was so good, or he could have been so good. He had so much promise. He got off to such a hot start in his career, and then he just totally fell apart. Then you got DFA, Nixon Zell. I mean, none of the big names yet. DeGrom. There's Jake Bowers' rookie card. Got to shout out my guy Jake Bowers. Helping the Yankees out with his with his uh, retooled swing. He's been playing really well for the Yanks. Terrible defender in the outfield, but he's really been hitting. All right, now we're going to get into the meat of the pack. We got Goose Gossage, greatest players. I keep drifting a little bit low. Sorry about that. Goose Gossage, greatest players. We got a Duplantier. Ooh, nice. We got a Petey Alonzo insert rookie. And let's see what this is. I have no idea what this could be. Oh, it's the commemorative patch. It's a... Reggie Jackson, commemorative patch. Ooh, another 25. So that's actually pretty sick. If you're going to get a Reggie Jackson, you're going to get a commemorative. Uh, I've done this twice now in the past week, actually. Um, I've pulled relics to 25. I guess it's not really a relic. It's, I guess it's, I don't know, some sort of relic, technically. But uh, that's pretty cool. I'm going to put that right in the middle there. Number 25, Reggie Jackson. So not too shabby. And then we got the big meat, Pete Alonzo. So unfortunately, he's on the shelf. Uh, with an injury after getting hit by a pitch, but that is a good one to pull. Of all the inserts to pull out of this, other than maybe, I don't know, Vladdy or someone else, Tatis, um, Alonzo is one of the guys. So, very nice. We got that. And let's get into this final pack. It is the Bowman Sapphire Edition four-card pack. Very tough product, obviously, but also the potential for something massive. I don't see any thickies in there unless, yeah, I don't think we got anything major, uh, but let's see. We got a Kyle Harrison first, so he's a big-time pitching prospect. Could do worse than that. Blaze Jordan. Let's come off the back because I already saw it. It's Ortega. Not too familiar with him. Then let's see what our last one is. And also not a first. It's going to be a Kumar Rocker. So, you know, haven't had the best luck. I guess I pulled an Oscar Colas. Um, parallel out of, what was it, last year's, I don't know, Bowman 2022, Bowman Sapphire. So that was pretty sick. But, you know, when you're only open one pack of Sapphire out of a, out of a subscription box, it's, it's going to be tough, always tough to hit. But I don't know, pretty solid box this month. You got the Khalil Watson. You got the, you got the Pete Alonzo rookie, that really cool looking Bryce Harper. A little parallel out of the silver pack. And then, even though it's just a manufactured relic, I mean, it's a PC team. It's one of the all-time greats. And it's a, you know, manufactured relic, number to 25. So, Red, very cool card. Not going to complain about that one little bit. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it as always. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking of the Rookie Card Explosion Box. Hopefully you guys can get in on the subscription. I'll link to all of Filmington stuff down in the uh, description below. Um, otherwise, thank you as always to Filmington, and we will be back with another Rookie Card Explosion Box next month and a Series 2 Hobby Box later this week. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate your time. Appreciate the support. The best is yet to come. Take care.